Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new French film, I mean, not French film, French series on Netflix, Lupin. And this is starring Omar Sy, and a couple of these episodes were directed by Louis Letier, who I know from doing The Incredible Hulk, and this show is about a man who dives into becoming a thief and specifically is trying to show that his father, who committed suicide in prison, was not the one that stole this very famous, very valuable necklace from a rich family. And that puts our main character at odds with this family. And he's very much influenced by Lupin, who was this great, like, master thief kind of thing and this book that he read as a kid and this show really at the core of it has this paternal relationship all these themes specifically about him and his father and then him and his son and Sai does a really great job of bringing a lot of charisma to the main character in the show and you care about him and that's the most important thing is you care about this plight and it's really digging down with a lot of social issues, classism, and why he's trying to bring to light what this guy did, this rich, very rich, very powerful man. And in each episode, there's some great heist scenes. There's some, like, great Ocean's Eleven type moments of, like, here's a twist, and those things work. And it starts out fun in that first episode or so, but it does gain some weight as things get more intense, people lose their lives in the name of this rich and powerful man trying to keep things undercover. And it's very interesting. You have, like, there's one particular scene that I thought was very interesting with uh, Omar Sy in disguise, and it kind of reminded me of one the one scene from V for Vendetta when V is like in his disguise trying to whistle blow and there's some twists and turns and corruption around every corner in the show and it leaves you off at an interesting place though in terms of where this season the first season is only five episodes and where it leaves off and you're just like that's interesting this is how this ends but I'm still super invested and excited to see where it goes next. And I really enjoyed this show quite a bit, and I think this is a good win for Netflix, especially to start 2021. So I highly recommend going to check out Lupin. It has action and drama and suspense and some solid themes and interesting ideas. So it works on a lot of different levels. But those are my thoughts on Lupin. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.